Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal here and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. As always, today we're going to be going over a lot of the possible kill streaks we'll be seeing this year in Call of Duty World War 2. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not an entire complete confirmed list of all of the kill streaks that we could see this year. This is just a few that I think will definitely make their way into the game in some way, shape or form. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Slap that like button if you enjoy it, and here we go. I guess I should point out before we get into it, we don't really know whether it's going to be a score streak or kill streak system this year it's been back and forth for so many different years now we're gonna refer to them as kill streaks for the sake of this video and now let's go ahead and jump in so the first two streaks sort of go hand in hand we've seen them countless times in Call of Duty that being the UAV or the spy plane and the counter UAV or the counter spy plane I assume it's probably gonna be more along the lines of a spy plane since this is an older era type game it's not nearly as futuristic or even modern anymore we are throwing it back to World War two so some sort of spy plane and some sort of counter spy plane are basically guaranteed. We've seen them, like I said, every single year for the past however many years now. Ever since like Modern Warfare 2, every single Call of Duty has had a counter UAV and a UAV in it or a spy plane, counter spy plane. You get the gist of it. Next up, we got another streak that has been in basically every single Call of Duty since launch, that being the care package. Pretty self-explanatory there. We've seen it, like I said, year after year for multiple years now, and I don't expect this year to be any different. Expect to see a care package in some way, shape, or form. Next up, we have a flamethrower, a pretty iconic weapon of World War II. We've seen the flamethrower in previous Call of Duties, both as killstreaks and as just basic weapon attachments, but I think this year we could definitely see some form of a flamethrower as a killstreak. Moving on, sometimes Type of fighter plane kill streak, whether it's sort of like a lightning strike where it's able to attack in multiple positions, whether it's a group of three or four planes that come swooping in over the map, shooting down on the enemies below, or if it's just a single plane making a run over the map, shooting down below onto onto the enemy forces. I definitely think we'll have some sort of aerial combat kill streaks in the game in some way, shape, or form. We'll follow that one up with a bombing run. We've seen the bombing run in previous Call of Duties. More specifically, we've seen them in previous sledgehammer titles that being advanced warfare bombing run was a very very popular streak back in that game and I could definitely see it returning this year as a very solid yet difficult to achieve kill streak I definitely see if there is a bombing run in World War II it being one of the most dominant and one of the hardest streaks to get in the game then we can follow that up with some sort of tank kill streak obviously tanks were a big part of World War II and just warfare in general in the past and I definitely could see them making a big impact in multiplayer here we haven't really seen tanks in that many call of duties obviously world at war is pretty infamous for having tanks on some of its maps and i could see that returning here in world war ii most definitely especially as a kill streak and to wrap things up some sort of secret kill streak or game ending kill streak resembling an atomic bomb there are definitely some controversial things that would go along with this so it'd be interesting to see how sledgehammer would go about implementing it into the game but i definitely expect world war ii to have some sort of secret kill streak, whether it's like a Moab where it just kills the entire enemy team or a nuke where it actually ends the game. Let me know what you guys think about this list down in the comments below. As I mentioned earlier, slap that like button if you guys enjoyed. If you guys are brand new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. We are on the road to 16,000 subscribers. That's going to wrap things up. I've been Zach or Immortal. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay happy, stay positive, and of course, don't forget to smile because you are never going to regret it. Peace out.